welcome to the first part of the castle tutorial. I just recently did a castle time lapse. Thank you guys for all the likes I got on it. For the 2000 likes or whatever, I mean, you, you recently smashed that goal of mine within, I think it were seven hours or something like that after the release of the video. Just amazing, guys. Thank you for that. So this is the first part of the castle tutorial. It's going to be about to uh, how to build the walls and yeah let's just jump right into building shall we so the very first thing you want to do is of course to find a good location to build the castle at in this case i decided to build the castle yeah well on a on a small hill mm, small cliff whatever you want to call it um right here there is a river coming out of the landscape and flowing into what you can't really see back there into the ocean. And I think that's a quite quite the good location to build it. So back here there's going to be uh, the big tower with the beacon inside of it. And in the front here are going to be the two towers with the gate in the middle. So once you decided where you want to build the castle at, you want to start by making a five block a uh, long stone brick row like this so this is going to be the back of the of the large tower of the wall segment beneath the large tower and what you want to do then is to make one wall section of three blocks like this one block more to the outside a wall segment of six blocks then you want to take a turn a segment of three blocks and then nine blocks and now wait a second i can't really count and talk and do it <laughs> Sorry, I'm not able to do multitasking. Uh, anyway, so three, six, nine, okay. Then one block more to the outside, seven. So that's three, that's six, and that's seven. And now one block once again to the inside, a segment of three. And you want to do that on the other side as well, of course, the other way around. So first of all, three like this. One block more oops, to the outside six blocks segment making a turn with three blocks then nine once again uh, six nine what's that nine <laughs> I'm terrible at maths anyways and now seven and then once again one block to the inside so that it's once again at the l same level like the nine block wide uh, long segment row three blocks and now what you want to do is to make the, those segments exactly seven blocks high. So that's two, that's three, four, five, six, and seven. And once you have done that, what you want to do is to take logs and place them sideways with an overhang of one block to the outside. Of course, on this side would be at the, uh, at the different height here. And now, yeah, I want you to do all that for all the other parts as well. Nicely done, you guys are really fast, I should hire you someday. Now what you want to do is to take uh, logs and f place them so that the bottom of the trunk is facing towards you. And you want to place that in the middle of this uh, sideway row. Um, yeah on the three block wide wall segments. Since this is a seven block high uh, wide wall segment, what you want to do is to leave one block free from the outside and then place it like this. Same thing on this side so that you have three blocks placed sideways in the middle. On this nine block wide wall segment you want to do the same to leave three blocks in the middle so you have to leave two blocks free to the outside like this. Here it's a three block white wall segment and this is the middle one here. On this six block white wall segment you want to leave two blocks free from uh, the back of the castle which is here and then place it. And now you are going to have those gaps here and you want to fill them up with um, a regular trunk. Same thing here and here. Um, I think I forgot one here, yeah, that's a three block white wall segment, so it's once again in the middle. In this five block high uh, white wall segment, it's also in the middle, once again three blocks. This is once again six blocks wide, so 
two blocks and then it. Three blocks, then fill in the gap. Um, nine blocks, so two to each side. So you have three blocks once again in the middle, three on the seven block white wall segment. It's once again one to the outside, so that you have those three here, and once again the three. And now what you want to do is to continue placing the logs in log pillars up until you hit those logs. So one here, one there, one there, one there, one here, one there, one there, one there, and the same thing on the other side. And then what you want to do is to take a button and place it, or a stone button, and place it like this on all of those um, yeah, logs facing towards you. Like this. So now we are going to do three different things to bring in some detail into this wall. So first of all what you want to do is to take cobblestone and make a kind of reinforced foundation down here. So what you want to do for that is to place the cobblestone up until you are one block below this uh, lower block of, this, uh, of the pillar and it has to be one block set to the outside and then you want to just place it every other block like this so always one block to the front and one block once again to the back and here once again one block in front of the pillar so the other one has to be here and there so we can't do that all the time because it's going to be a little bit different at some places. Not because I want to do it like that, but because it's it's simply like that. And you are going to see that in a few seconds. So for example, here. So my suggestion in this case is to place simply place another one like this here. Then let's once again like this and like that. Here, since there's a turn in the wall, I'm just going to make it like that. Once again, like this. And now you have to decide whether you make it like that or like that. And I think I'm going to go with that. Here it can be there and there and there. And once again, same problem. I'm going to do it like this. And wait a second. Uh, wait a second. Let's just do it like this here for starters. And like here and like here. And then let's just connect these with one another. And okay, then let's make an exception here on these, yeah, on these first three uh, block wide segments on this side as well as on this side. This is the going to be the only one where the cobblestone ends exactly beneath the pillar. So the same thing, of course, here. And then like that once again, da -da 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 -da, da -da 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 and and so on. And then basically the same thing like we did here on the other side. S and here you want to place an additional block here and an additional block here. Same thing on the sides of those pillars here, like that. And here on the six block wide wall segment. Of course the same thing goes for the other side as well. And now you want to take stairs place a cobblestone stair on top of these single blocks here. Same thing here. And then you want to fill in all the rest of the blocks by using slabs. And here I'm just going to make an overhang of one block like that. Same same thing goes for this this corner. And here there Oh, that's shitty. Okay, I'm going to do it like this. Sorry for that. Um, and once again, like this here. 
and here once again I'm going oops. Once again going to place first of all cobblestone blocks like this, then a stair on top of it, and then once again the slabs. Okay, and the rest is on this side the same like on this side. Now the second thing you want to do to decorate the wall is to leave one block free up here and then take those three blocks, take them away, you don't need them anymore. Same thing on this side here. So on the seven block wide and nine block wide wall segment you want to do that on both sides. And then you want to take stairs, stone brick stairs, place them like this. So a regular one placed with a back to the uh, stone brick blocks here. Same thing up here, just upside down and on the other side. And then one upside down block here and there. The same pattern goes for this hole as well. Like that. And now you want to take cobblestone blocks and fill in nine cobblestone blocks like this behind both sides. There we go. Now it looks like that. Now what you want to do is to place any random blocks here. Don't worry about the shitty looks. We are going to fix that. Like that, and now you want to take stair, uh, blah, 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 fence gates, place them on top here, and get rid of the just recently placed ugly blocks. Whoops, damn it. Too early. Don't get rid of them before the stair, uh, the fences aren't placed. Okay, and one more thing is on all of all the turns you want to simply place three fences like this. So the same thing goes for this corner as well as for this corner and once you have done the same thing on this side as well here and that's it. And yeah that is it. So the last thing we are going to do in this part of the tutorial is to build the crenellations and for that first of all hello red sky haven't seen you for a while. Um, anyway so first of all you want to take stone bricks and place a row of stone bricks on top of all of those uh, logs up here and hair and hair and hair. Same thing of course on this side. Not that one. What? Not that one. And you can leave this block free as well. And now what you want to do is to take uh, stone brick stairs and on the three block wide wall segments place one upside down stone brick stair like this and the other one like that. On the seven block wide wall segment you want to place one to the outside on both sides and then every other block on this upper row another one. Uh, the same thing goes basically for this side as well. Stop. Stop it. No. Psst. Be quiet. It's following us. Um, so as I was saying uh, every other block as well here. This is once again a, s a three block wide wall segment. So what you want to do is to place one to the outside and then you want to place on this six block wide wall segment one to the outside here, another one there and another one oops, like this. Since you have a turn right here what you want to do is to place two upside down stone brick stairs on top of those fences you placed earlier. Once again, three blocks, so it's like that. A turn once again, so place them upside down like this. And on this one, once again, two to the outside and one in the middle. And that would be a turn like this. And then you would continue the same thing on the other side as well. 
So now to build the crenellations. Well, these were the preparations, but these are the actual crenellations. So what you want to do is to start with a regular stair like this and another one like this. Then you want to take a solid block and place it like that in the middle. Once again, um, a stair, place it upside down at the back of the one right here. And then, well basically you start always start the same way. So you have it like this, same thing on the outside of this wall segment as well, as you can see. And then you always place it so that you have a one block wide opening right here. And then you place another one at its back. So you have always one block up, one block down. Same thing here, one block down and one block up. And now here in the middle what you want to do since either way it would look quite ugly, what you want to do is to place a stair like this. Then it's an upside down one to the back of both of the outer ones. Like that On this nine block white wall segment we are always starting the same way so it's like that then one down, one up, and damn it, um, and up and down and <laughs> anyway, and then one regular one in the middle like that. Once again, upside down to the outside here. This is three block wide segment. So, um, and since we are not going to need this block right here. Um, what you can do is to place the stair like this, then take a stone brick block and place it like that and you can leave that one away. It will only be in our way later. So once again, let's start like that and down and well basically on this side it's going to be a little bit different here as well. So just place it at the back so that you have half a block of the gap here. One block like this, upside down as well as here. Three blocks wide, so once again like that. And a solid block in the middle. An upside down one here. And on this five block wide wall segment, it's the same. It's like, damn it, that. And an upside down one here and there. And now, to fill in those gaps you have on the turns, you want to take slabs, place one slab here, one slab there, and a top slab to fill the, uh, the gap. So, slab, slab, top slab. And the same thing goes for this other side. I'm going to time-lapse that so you have a small impression of this. Well, and that is pretty much it. So this was the first part of the castle tutorial about the castle I just recently did a time-lapse on. If you haven't seen the castle time-lapse yet, then <laughs> what are you waiting for? Click on this annotation right here and it will take you directly to it. Well, besides that, please leave a comment about what you think about this tutorial, because I know there were some parts that were maybe difficult to understand at some points. But, yeah, just let me know if I nailed it or failed it. So, yeah, what else to say, but I've been Madness64, and as always, please rate, comment, subscribe, do as you will, and hopefully we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.